Extraction meets Hero Shooter with some Battle Royale mixed in. This is Hyenas! What is up, zombies and ghouls? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I know I am because today we're taking a look at what could end up being the best PvP shooter to come out this year. This game takes all the good from what we've grown to know and love about extraction shooters, battle royales, and hero shooters to combine it into one cohesive package. Hyenas also has one of the most innovative features that I've ever seen in a multiplayer game that I think is really going to make it stand on its own. We'll talk about what that is here in just a minute, but I have to say, out of all the games to come out this year, if you're into PvP, this is one you just do not want to miss. So bust out your shovels and let's dig in. Starting off, I want to talk about the premise of the game. Some of the things that people really hate about extraction shooters and battle rails is how long it takes to get anywhere and how long the matches are. We don't see that problem here. The main objectives of Hyenas is to drop in, gear up, grab some merch, and extract with it. Merch gives you clout points. Having enough clout points grants you access to extraction. It really is that simple, and the simplicity is what makes it fun. When starting out, you want to make sure to play through the tutorial. This will give you a feel of all the mechanics and the general idea of what to do when you first drop in. Here you'll learn about the movement, and let me tell you, the movement feels super smooth. It will most definitely feel right at home with you if you're used to playing more arcadey shooters such as Call of Duty or Battlefield, the sliding in particular. There is something special that separates it from those games though, and it's my favorite aspect about this game. The Zero-G Combat! You can hit these switches in certain areas throughout the map to shut off the gravity of the ship you're fighting it out on. This allows you to boost forwards, backwards, and side to side at incredible speeds in comparison to just running or sliding, opening up some super sick options in regards to combat. The Zero G can also make Murphs float up in the air which I personally find quite hilarious. Murphs are the security personnel that guard the vaults where you go to steal merch. This can either be done stealthily or loud. Hero Kai, the character I main, of course because I'm a huge Sonic fan is capable of going into a vault and grabbing the merch with ease using his ability, but we'll cover abilities here in a moment. First, I want to discuss the mechanics revolving around breaching the vaults. The folks at Creative Assembly really did a great job with adding just enough depth to make it interesting and engaging, but not so much so that it turns into tedium. The main way people tend to breach the vaults from my experience so far is going loud. This is where you just go in guns a blazing, taking out all the murfs. When entering the vault area, be sure to take out the squealers upon entry. They're the dudes with the red phone icons above them. Failure to do this will result in a lockdown, spawning not only a higher number of enemies to your location, but tougher enemies as well. Once you get to the vault door, you hold down the corresponding key or button to put up your vault breaching kit. During this time, reinforcement mercs will be issued to your location. The reinforcements bring more squealers, so be sure to take those out first. Once the breach has completed, the door falls to the floor, opening the vault for you and your team to reap the riches inside, including that sweet retro merch. Before, during, and after this process, be sure to watch your surroundings. Another pack of hyenas could show up at any time from around the corner, ready to pounce. When opening up the vaults, if you don't get the squealers in time and it goes into lockdown, the other packs of hyenas are notified on the map and the vault turns red. I found that when this happens, it's best to just leave unless your pack is really geared up. Speaking of gear, before going to get that sweet merch from the vault you're going to want to gear up. My preferred method is to mark a gear up location on the map as you're dropping into the match. Once you drop in, head directly there and you'll see these blue gear boxes. Pop those babies open and sometimes it'll feel just like Christmas. The loot in this game is based on tiered rarity, white being the lowest, blue, purple, then gold. Always try to get a purple shield before engaging and opening a vault if possible. Sometimes RNG Jesus isn't on your side, however a purple shield will be your best chance at surviving an engagement with other packs. Your abilities can play a huge role in this as well. Hero Kai, as I mentioned before, has the Disguise ability. This ability allows Hero Kai to disguise himself as enemy Murphs to go into vaults undetected, or as enemy players to get close and attack the enemy from nearby. You can even disguise yourself as teammates if you want to. If you and your pack plan accordingly, you can just send him in to open the vault while the others scout the surrounding area of the vault to make sure that other hyenas aren't nearby. Digits throws down a fire disc that burns any enemies that get within an attack range of the disc. The pro drops down a turret that can help when going loud at a vault or for crowd control. 
Doc Hotfix has a healing drone that can heal you or your teammates when in need. It can also attack unsuspecting enemies. This isn't an exhaustive list of all the characters and their abilities, so be sure to try them all for yourself to find out which one best fits your playstyle. We also have events that happen in the game like this one just to spice things up a bit. The smash and grab is an event that spawns a box in containing clout points in this case. I don't know if that's all that spawns in the box, but that's all that we've ever gotten. Keep in mind that what spawns in these event boxes could also very well change in the future. This game with the retro Borderlands-esque aesthetics, the music, and the nostalgia just hits in all the right places. Especially when you take into account just how well everything blends together. If I was forced to say anything negative about the game, it would be a tiny nitpick that is probably a non-issue with most players. That would be that most extraction shooters tend to have you extract with gear that you can carry into the next match. Hyenas at the time of making this video doesn't have that feature, but that doesn't mean that it won't come in the future, and it doesn't really bother me. I just think that we all get a little too complacent with game companies copying each other from time to time. So much so that we even started expecting it as if it's a genre defining thing, even though it's not. It's just more of a, hey this company's doing it, so why aren't these guys doing it? You could try to make a weak argument saying that they took inspiration from Boundary or Star Citizen for the Zero G combat, but in reality it feels drastically different from both of those games. And not only that, it's toggleable via a switch in game. What do you all think? Are you going to give this game a try? I think you should. Let me know down in the comments. If FPS games are your thing, but you're not really into multiplayer, I highly recommend giving this game a try. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it or dislike it if you didn't. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, just remember, don't get bit. Peace.